It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Kenneth Handler to offer the undergraduate student address. Congratulations. All right. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome the faculty, professors, guests, parents, and especially my fellow Mercy graduates, class of 2017. I consider it a good thing that no one here saw the expression on my face when I was asked to give the commencement speech. Of course, I was deeply honored, but being asked to speak in front of you all and encapsulate years worth of hard work, study, and dedication is a particularly daunting task that I don't feel qualified for. However, as with many projects, assignments, and exams I've taken over the past years, I couldn't let my anxieties and my self-doubt stop me. So I told myself the same thing I've said before whenever the doubts crept in. You've got this, <laughs> just do your best. So here I am, trying my best, hoping as I have for the past few years, to take advantage of the opportunities and experiences that are in front of me, and just maybe even have a little fun along the way. In reaching the culmination of my four-year journey, I thought a lot about how I began, and of how much I've grown from then until now. Although I tell myself now, just do your best, it's not an inherent quality. Through learning to concentrate on doing my best and not on what could, should, maybe, or even would go wrong, I've ended up exceeding my own expectations. That thought process of just do your best and stop worrying so much about the results is something that I've learned throughout my studies at Mercy and aside from the technical skills and knowledge, is what I'm most grateful for. Now, it did take quite some time for the mantra, just do your best, to crystallize in my mind and begin to affect my thoughts, my actions, and approach to life and learning. But the idea began to form in my very first semester. I remember my freshman year, some of you might also. Uh, it was English 111 with Professor Cancino. I had just turned in my very first essay. I thought to myself, man, th this is great. <laughs> I'm finally here. I was pretty proud of it, and I thought I had every right to be. Well, my pride was pretty short-lived, because I got a C on that essay. <laughs> but my professor, he actually filled the entire essay with notes and corrections. He took his time to help me improve as much as possible. And not only that, but he said he'd give me the opportunity to resubmit the essay for a chance at a better grade. He thought, and I'll quote it because I don't always think this, that I had potential. Now, seeing his notes and realizing he cared about me spurred my own desire to improve. So the very next week, I went ahead to the Dobbs Ferry Writing Center in the library to go get some help. Now, the tutor there was pretty blunt, and she told me, well, <laughs> Had you been in my class, I'd have failed you for this essay. No C, just a fail. Well, at least she cared enough to be honest, right? Well, surprisingly, I wasn't too discouraged, and I didn't take her comments too negatively, because she also gave me advice, and she also gave me help. Now, I ended up handing in my edited essay, and I got a B. It was great. But that experience also helped me realize what college would or could mean to me from that point on. Yes, I would make mistakes. Yes, I would sometimes fail. But in doing so, I'd have the opportunity to learn and improve. I have truly enjoyed the past few years, and I feel my accomplishments reflect the care and commitment of the faculty here at Mercy, my advisors, and of course, all my professors. If not for Professor Johansson's speech and communications class, I'm not sure I'd have the wherewithal to stand up here today. If you're here, thank you. <laughs> I'd be a different person if not for Professor Colhane, whose creative approach to teaching and his unwavering belief in the potential of his students 
inspired me to be confident in myself and not to be afraid of putting myself out there and just be my usual weird self. I wouldn't push myself as hard as I do if not for having taken statistics with Professor Knopp Kelly, whose syllabus began with, this will be an extremely demanding class, so make sure you have the time to manage the coursework, and consider dropping out if you have a large course load. Well, I didn't. <laughs> All I can say is thank you for the sheer amount of work that helped me grasp a subject I'd been dreading. After your class, I thought, well, <laughs> if I could pass this, I could pass anything. They say no guts, no glory, and I've taken it to heart. Life will be full of challenges and stresses, and I won't always be comfortable. But thanks to my experiences at Mercy, I'll know I'll be able to handle the pressure and stress and that I'll have the confidence and ability to take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of me. Each of us here will have had different experiences, but we've all had those classes which fundamentally changed the way we thought about ourselves and the world, and which left us feeling as though we'd grown, both in terms of knowledge and as an individual. And as we all leave here today, I know that what each of us has gained is only the beginning. I know that we will continue to grow to learn, to strive, to persevere, and ultimately, as each one of us has today, to succeed. So I'll leave you with the message I keep telling myself. Keep doing your best. Thank you. I just want to say, um, if I could, uh, my parents who are here, um, any of my siblings, my friends, it's been, it's been a long ride, and I can't believe I made it, so thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Handler. Congratulations.